Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about how to import a Windows 10 operating system in SCCM or any operating system that you're supporting at this time. Uh, the process is pretty similar and pretty much the same whether you built a reference image or if you're just you know, importing an out-of-box experience uh, WIM file from the CD. So with that, let's get started. So I'm going to open up my um, SCCM. Here's a Windows 10 box. All right, so on my Windows 10 box, I did um, extract all of the uh, files from the ISO. And so what you end up with is um, a list of files that you can actually create to create a bootable um, Windows 10 if you need to. Uh, but we're not doing that today. We're just going to import the operating system in SCCM. So with that, I'm just going to copy the WIM file. Oops, in the wrong location, sources. And you want to go down to install WIM. So we're going to copy this file over to the SCCM server. So we can import that in. And again, this could be a, a WIM file from your reference image or from the CD. So it doesn't matter which. There it is. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this to my SCCM server. And as you can see, it's starting to copy. It may take a few minutes here. All right, so I've copied a file on the SCCM server. And as you can see, I have it right here on the root, on packages. And there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and import that. So you get a software library, operating system, operating system image. And then we're going to go ahead and click on add operating system image. And we're going to go browse to that location. There it is. Open. Oh, that's right. We want the path. Let's do, do, do. Oh. It likes the UNC path. There we go. All right, so then you, um, now this, this uh, extract a specific image from the media file. This is new in 1902. Remember I was telling you last week when we upgraded, this is one of the new things you can do. So like if you click on it, it will go ahead and you can just extract a particular part of the media file. Uh, so we're not gonna do that today. We're just gonna go ahead and instruct check. Uh, in this case, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna extract a specific specific image index, so I'm just gonna leave it default and uh, click on next. All right, image Windows 10. All right, so this time I didn't select the index. Um, again, that's a new feature in SCCM. I'm going to have to read up a little bit more on that to see how that part works. Uh, and again, it's a new feature that was released. Um, so if you guys know, let me know in the comment section. Uh, but I can probably um, let you know here shortly. Um, anyways, no, now I've got the operating system in here. So now that I've got the OS, now the first thing I need to do um, before I can do anything with the oper operating system is I need to distribute this to all of the task sequence, or I'm sorry, I need to distribute this operating system to the um, distribution point. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So we're gonna go ahead and distribute content. And again, we'll just go ahead and uh, go through this. And just, you can, uh, I'm just, I got one. It's just my lab. Man. Okay. Now this probably won't take long, so we're going to head wait for that to. Uh, um, whoop. And, um, there we go. So we'll let this uh, replicate to the distribution point, and I'll be right back. All right, so now the um, operating system has now been replicated to all of the DPs that I have in my environment. And depending on your environment, it may take some time, but here it took probably like uh, 10 minutes-ish 
Uh, so now when you go to the software library, we have an operating system there. Now, so what we need to do is we want to start deploying this image out to your environments. And there are several different scenarios like upgrade, replace, um, and our new system. So, um, so with that, so everything that we're going to be doing from this point moving forward, it's going to be about the task sequences uh, for all of those different scenarios. Now, I didn't want to go over them right now in this, 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 this video because... Um, it's going to be a little bit more involved, and I kind of want to break them up into smaller um, smaller videos so it's not so long and going over that. But I'm going to do another video right after this to go over some task sequence options and stuff like that. So with that, um, that's all you have to do to import an operating system, whether it be from a reference image or a app from the media, the CD from the CD. And you just import that in. And again, I, I showed you that 1902. Um, now, I noticed that when we when we selected that, there were only a few options that were there, like Pro, Education, the Pro N, Education N. I noticed Enterprise was not listed in the CD, and that WIMP file that I was importing was Enterprise, so I don't think that that supports the Enterprise um, version. So keep that in mind, but, you know, do play around with it. Um, it's definitely a new feature in 1902. Um, so let me know what you guys think about that. And again, I'll link um, information uh, about my website and my email. So let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Okay, so next I wanted to talk about the operating system upgrade packages. This is the, um, the area where you want to upload all of the files. Um, you know, it's an extracted ISO file, if you will. So I've already copied all of the um, ISO files already on SCCM. And you call OS files, and these are um, basically the extracted um, CD. And so you want to have all these files there, so that when you do an upgrade, it'll have all those files there. So, um, so you go ahead and click on that, and then you click Add Operating System Upgrade Package, and you go to the path. That's the folder, and so I'm going to use 64 because that's well, because it is a 64, and we'll give it the language. Okay, so this is a 64 bit version of the operating system, and we call it language, and you can select whatever language. Um, so we're going to call this. This is the version, so we're going to just call it 1803, uh, version 1803. Now I know we have a later version out, but I wanted to do this version so I can show you how to do upgrades um, and how to upgrade the environment using deployment methods and stuff like that. So this is the reason why I'm using this particular version. You have to also distribute the content too, um, so that we can do that part. So let's go ahead and um, uh, do that right now. Oop, whoop, go back in there. We're going to do that right here. We're going to distribute content. We're going to go ahead and distribute that so we can go. Whoop, whoop, cancel. Okay, next, next. Close. All right, so then you want to go to monitoring and just, you know, make sure it is distributed before you can use the um, upgrade package. And again, that's that's all we have for today. Again, I'll be creating videos on how to do these deployments. Uh, we're going to be talking about task sequences and all of the different things you can do within the task sequence. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Again, thanks for watching and have a great day. Subscribe, like, thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.